What's up guys, Chef Dale Taldi, and we are back making butternut squash toast with sweet and sour mushrooms, crumbled goat cheese, and candied pecans. Let's get our fall on, guys. Starts first with this beautiful butternut squash. So you're gonna find a lot of these out here in, uh, in October. They are everywhere. One of my favorite squashes to use. Really simple to make. We're gonna take a little bit of salt some pepper, some olive oil, then a little bit of water into the pan. Then we're gonna cover this with foil and get it into an oven to roast. You can find this squash already prepped, cut and diced for you at the store. Go ahead and use it. Um, I love roasting my squash in the skins. I think it adds a little bit more flavor, but listen, it's about ease and getting this on the plate as uh, deliciously and as fast as possible. So we're gonna take the squash, get it into the oven. Three seventy-five for maybe an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. It has to be fork tender, right? Because what we're gonna do is we're just gonna end up uh, kind of um, mashing it up and it's gonna be a spread on this toast that we have here. So next, we're gonna take our, we're gonna take a pan and make these sweet and sour mushrooms. Add a little bit of olive oil to this pan. And you wanna make sure that this pan is really smoking. Um, we wanna get some beautiful color into these mushrooms. We don't want to crowd the pan with too many mushrooms at one time because it, it's gonna kind of release a lot of this water and we want to get beautiful color and a little bit of texture under these mushrooms. So when you see the oil shimmering just like that, we're going to add these mushrooms into the pan. And we're going to do these in a single layer, make sure not, making sure not to crowd the pan. And we're using cremini's right now. Um, I love these mushrooms, really earthy, fantastic flavor, and beautiful texture. So here we go, we've only cut them in half, right? Because what I like about this, mushrooms will shrink a little bit. Um, we want a lot of texture, you know, your crunchy bread, this really creamy squash puree that we make. Um, so you want these to have a little bit of bounce to them. So we are gonna do absolutely nothing to this pan, right? Don't touch it, don't shake it, don't move it, maybe, what we can do is just take these and uh, mushrooms and putting on the cut side down so that there's actually contact to the pan or more surface area. And that'll let it uh, get a little bit more brown. But you can see I had a fair amount of oil in the pan and it, these mushrooms have already started to soak them up. I'm gonna hit these with just a touch more oil. Do nothing to it. While these are cooking, we're gonna get our toast ready. So we have sourdough bread here that we've cut into really thick, almost one and a half, one inch, one and a quarter inch slices. We're gonna add a little bit of oil to this, both sides. Get this into the oven to toast. Take a look at our mushrooms, see how these are doing. See that, that's that really nice color that we're looking for. And at this point, what we're gonna do is add some uh, sliced shallot rings. These are going to get nice and nice and wilty. They're going to add a ton of flavor to this. 
And to this right now, we're gonna add a little bit of butter. And we want this butter to brown. It's gonna add tons of really great flavor to our mushrooms. And adding at this point right now, it's gonna make sure that it doesn't uh, brown too quickly, but it's gonna get nice and nutty, which you know, like this whole dish is really earthy. Um, this speaks of this fall, October flavors. That's the color of the mushroom that you're looking for. When you see the shallot starting to get nice and brown and wilt a little bit, that's when we can add, and let, mind you, this flame has been on the high heat the entire time. We wanna build this really beautiful caramelization through high heat. We're gonna take some O Organics honey, drop that into the pan. And basically what you're doing is building somewhat of a caramel right now, right? This honey is gonna get nice and bubbly, it's gonna Coat the mushrooms really nicely. So it's gonna help it brown. And at this stage, we can add some salt. Cause now, if the, if the mushrooms start to release some of that water, it's gonna help build this uh, almost uh, agrodolce or sweet and sour sauce that's in the pan right now. You know, as you cook honey, right, it's gonna transform from, you know, just sweet to almost give this a more complex flavor. Um, instead of just being, you know, this uh, overriding power of sweetness, when you cook and caramelize honey, it's gonna give it a depth of flavor that's um, really beautiful. We're gonna go into this pan with a little sherry vinegar. Sherry vinegar and mushrooms are like the best friends, right? It's a fantastic combination. Um, and I think it just adds really almost the main event to this entire dish are these uh, mushrooms. Let's go check our toast. Tasting really nice right now. We're gonna let these mushrooms just cook away. You wanna reduce this liquid maybe by, maybe by half. You're gonna see the liquid kind of tighten up. It's gonna glaze the mushrooms beautifully. So our squash has been cooked. And what we've done is we've simply scooped out the squash filling and put it into this bowl here and we've mashed it up with a, with a fork. So that's basically what we have here is, is a, a mash of the squash that we've cooked um, in, in the oven. Let's check our toast. looking really nice. So our mushrooms are done. We've reduced the liquid inside. We've reduced the liquid inside the mushrooms to about half. Our toast is looking beautiful. We are ready to assemble. So we're gonna go down with our squash puree.
a little bit of olive oil to finish. Some salt. Some pepper. On with our beautiful mushrooms. Don't be afraid to bring a little bit of that beautiful honey sherry vinegar mix onto the toast. It's beautiful shallots. Crumbled goat cheese. And then some candied pecans. We are ready to plate. And there you have it, our squash toast with sweet and sour mushrooms, goat cheese and candy pecans. Perfect for brunch. Get a Bellini and a Bloody Mary and we're ready to go. Oh.